As you guys know, with any kind of like niche on YouTube, it goes through some evolution. You know, it, it's bound to happen. Things are going to change. Clouds are not looking too friendly, but there's not that big of a chance of rain, so maybe I'll get lucky. We ain't going very far. So what's up, guys? I wanted to have a semi-serious talk. Now, moto vlogging's been around for quite a while. I would say moto vlogging's really been around for the last, I don't know, almost a decade, I would say, or pretty close to it at least. You know, it started with M13 just sticking a cell phone in his helmet visor and just riding around Thailand. And eventually more and more people picked it up. You know, some of the bigger guys have been around for seven, eight years or more now. <coughs> and I've noticed recently a uh, fellow moto vlogger, mine, EDC1911, made a video kind of talking about how YouTube's in a weird state. And I, I gotta agree with him, it is in a very weird state. Like, one thing I've noticed with moto vlogging in particular, it's become less about moto vlogging and more of just what kind of crazy clickbaity shit can I catch on my GoPro. And I get it, I get why people are clickbaiting a lot lately because it's just the name of the game. It's the only way you can stay relevant in a very heavily oversaturated community. Like, moto vlogging has blown the hell up. I'm finally getting over my sickness, so that's kind of cool. So if you're wondering why my voice has kind of sounded a little off lately, it's because I've been sick. I don't know what it is. I get sick like once, twice a year. It's always weird. It always lasts like anywhere from three days to a week, and then it's just gone. Never get sick again for like the rest of the year. What I'm saying by like, it seems like less about vlogging, is if you go back in the day, especially, I'm going to mention a few names, and this isn't to paint anyone in a negative light, it's just more of what I've noticed. It's not to talk shit, you know, that's, I'm past that. I, I'm done with putting out any kind of content that seems like me whining or bitching about someone or whatever, you know, I, I'm done with that. It's just, it's beyond retarded. I've grown past that kind of behavior. Let's go get us some Middle Eastern food. So like I said, before I went to go get some food, I'm going to mention some names, but it's not to defame anyone's like character or anything like that. It's not to step on anyone's toes. It's not to piss anybody off. It's just pointing out an observation. So nobody get butt hurt that I said something about your favorite vlogger or, you know, if you're that vlogger yourself and you watch this, don't take it the wrong way. It's, it's not me being a dick. If you look at vloggers today like Chase on Two Wheels, you'll notice... He doesn't do a lot of moto vlogs anymore. It's a lot of like in his garage stuff and things like that, which I'm not saying it's, it's bad. It's not bad. But I'm saying his channel doesn't feel as moto vloggy as it used to be. And I get that. I get that. He's branching out. He's kind of doing different things. He's running his uh, apparel company. He's got a lot of stuff going on. That's that smart stuff. You know, he's a full-time YouTuber. He's got to do stuff like that. That's kind of one of the things I like about not being a full-time YouTuber is the fact that I don't have to really, like, do a bunch of out-of-the-box type stuff like that. I can just turn my damn camera on and, and do whatever the hell. Shitty wheelie. <laughs> and, you know, it's not just Chase, you know. A lot of different vloggers, just a lot of their stuff seems a lot less moto vloggy, and it's people I've been watching, and I've slowly seen this evolution take place. It's like a lot of their content is less moto vloggy, and it's more of how can I make this video the most clickbaity as possible to get the most views, to draw the most subscribers and stuff. And I understand that's a good way to get your channel out there. It's a good way to bring in subscribers, to bring in you know, uh, reactions, uh, channel activity, YouTube 
loves that when it comes to analytics. If your channel's getting a lot of activity and stuff, YouTube eats that up. And I know you can say, oh, it's all about watch time. If people click bait, you know, yada, 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 it's going to eventually come back to bite them in the ass. And I'm sure it will, but at the same time, it doesn't appear that that's happening. And, you know, like, look at Jake, you know. I, I used to watch a lot of his videos back in the day when he was riding the DRZ. A lot of his videos back then were him riding around in weird fucking backwards places doing weird shit. These days, honestly, I mean this in the nicest way, I don't really care much for him. When he turned the Grom in and got the FC07, that's probably the last video I've watched of his. I don't watch a lot of moto vloggers these days just because... I mean, I mean this in the nicest way. It just it doesn't really seem genuine anymore. It, it just it doesn't. It's like EDC said. It's 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 all in a dark place. It just doesn't seem, you know, genuine and real. And I don't know, man. Like you could tell. You know how you could tell when somebody's just trying too hard. I guess you know, trying too hard to bring people in. Just tr- trying too hard to bait people. I guess you could just you could tell when someone does that. And it, to me, that just, you know, it just makes it really, uh, you know, I don't have a better word. It just makes it really ingenuine. You know, I'm just not really for that. Cool. They had pita bread. They actually had a big selection of pita bread. That's freaking awesome, man. In Texas, me and my fiance ate at this place. Uh, in Texas, me and Ali used to always eat at this place called Shiraz. And Brian, if you ever go to Brian College Station, Texas, check out a place called Shiraz. You know, just, just so many people clickbait. And, you know, I get, like I said, I understand the reason for clickbaiting. Like, even I do it every now and then. So, you know, I, I'm no saint. You know, it's not like I've never clickbaited anything. <laughs> you know, go back a couple videos. You know, crazy man tries to fight supermoto riders. That's not what happened. But I seen a, I seen the thumbnail. That really fat... But I seen a thumbnail that really fit that description and just went with it. Oh wait, I'll wait till these old people get a little further away. This GPR is nice and loud, and I don't want to be a dick to old people. Despite what you guys may think about me, guys, I'm not a total fucking dick. I come off like an asshole, I understand, but I'm not a complete dickhead. There's still some pieces missing. Ha 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 ha. So like I said, guys, I'm no saint. I clickbait every now and then, but there's really people out there that are getting pretty ridiculous with it. Like, almost every video is clickbaiting. And again, let me just reiterate this before I end this. This is not a slight at anybody. This is not a jaded video to be like, oh, fuck you if you clickbait. I'm just saying, like, it just seems, is it just me? But does anyone else agree? Does motovlogging just seem a little less about motovlogging than it used to? Does it just seem just a hair more ingenuine? Not today, red light. Not today. You guys see this old guy over here? This old guy constantly comes out here and fucking stares at me. I'm not joking. For real, he does. Me and my buddy were out here yesterday. My drummer from my band were out here having band practice or whatever. And, um, this fuck is he look at him? He doesn't think I see him. This motherfucker's just staring at me. He was standing in his window last night just staring at us randomly, dude. It's fucking creepy as fuck, man. He's all like, Motards, do you give me, give me that butt?